<clears throat> We're all aware of the war that's been raging in Ukraine for the last two months. And our district, um, for those of you that aren't aware, but I think most of you are because we've been making so many requests and asks um, for assistance. But uh, within the first couple weeks of the, the war, um, Marga, you're somewhere in the room. You're a big piece of the story. Marga Hugo and Pat Merriweather and I um, started talking about accessing some of the disaster relief grant money that was available at Rotary International. And we brought Rachel on board with us at one point and started talking, how can we get this? How can we collaborate? Pat said, why don't you contact some district governors? I said, I'd be happy to. So I went through the district governors I thought would react the way we wanted them to. And, and it took a couple, maybe a day or two, but pretty soon we had 10 districts ready, or nine districts ready to join us to access $250,000 that we thought was all going to go to one air shipment just to pay the freight. And um, somebody stepped in and paid the freight. So we didn't need to access that, those funds. And we're getting out as to what we were doing, gathering all these funds together. I'm happy to say that we had a total of 16 districts come together to bring $400,000 of disaster relief money in that we are not spending on shipping. We are spending on medical supplies, medical equipment, um, emergency things they can use in the field. And when we are done using that money up, we're gonna go back for more. Because And it's not just our local districts we're used to working with. We have Nebraska, Iowa, Texas, Argentina, thank you, Marga, five districts from Argentina. So, um, and we also have developed a relationship which Pat will talk about with Humana. I also want to say that Chris Olson's gonna share a bit of a story with us in a little bit too, because we've been doing other things in the district besides just accessing the important funds from our foundation. As Jane said, we started out thinking, you know, we need to hit, have uh, 250,000 so we could airlift this, the supplies to Ukraine. It turned out that uh, donors stepped up and not just one donor, several donors. So several more flights are being covered. So far, uh, this is now the uh, fourth flight that has gone out, is going out on May 7th. It will, it will carry over 80 tons of medical supplies. We've sent already over 200 tons of medical supplies and equipment. It goes to different areas. Sometimes it'll land in Poland, sometimes it'll land in Luxembourg. It really depends upon the safety of the transport that they can make into Ukraine. The, the supplies, the medical supplies, uh, they are also carrying them in suitcases. Every week, somebody goes to Poland and brings suitcases. When I say suitcases, it's 50 to 90 suitcases at a time. And they are filled with tourniquets, blood clotting pressure kits, gauze, anything to really help a person survive in the field. And then also for the hospitals, the equipment. So, and um, we're now sending next week two ambulances, fully equipped, fully stocked. This will be the third and fourth ambulances going. So we partnered with the Ukraine Medical Association of North America. These are, many of them are Ukrainians that are located in Chicago, Chicago area. Most of them are physicians. And the other day I was at the warehouse, you know, and I see Kathy Brack there. And then I see Fred Otto. Fred Otto is 
pushing and he's really moving up boxes and everything. Again, it's volunteerism, it's providing the, uh, you know, the goods, the services, and uh, I have to tell you the manufacturers and suppliers and hospitals have been very generous as well. This is Rotary at its best. And we don't deliver them to Ukraine. Rotarians deliver them to Ukraine. They're the ones that have the vehicles, the methods to get into the hospitals, the areas where there's violence. And, um, and they oftentimes ask for uh, vests because with the vests, the Rotarians along with EMTs are going out when there's a bombing, when there's a missile, they go out when it quiets down and they look for survivors and they bring them back. I mean, I, I just have to say the, the Rotarians around the world have really rallied around Ukraine and the Ukrainians and it's, um, despite all that we see, all the damage in that, there's a lot of heart in this and it really is, it speaks to Rotary. Over $10 million has been raised by Rotarians for these causes. It's just been outstanding. So again, I know you're gonna hear from Chris Olson too, and we can't thank you enough for your support. And if you have some free arms, you wanna get a little exercise, <laughs> let us know because the Rotary Club of Elmhurst has been doing a great job in helping us coordinate volunteers. And uh, Chicago O'Hare, uh, many, many, clubs are involved and now Wisconsin is getting involved as well. So thank you all. Keep it up. Um, hopefully we won't be at this much longer, but I have a feeling we might be and we're just going to be there. We're going to be there. Thank you.